fearsome on the glass. Yeah, and the reason they are because they have guys who want to attack the glass. Second chance points are going to be huge in this game. And they go in valuing the rebound. That's yes. probably one of the first things that the coaches put on their grease board. Right, no matter what you shoot, if you can get more possessions, you have a chance to win. And so off the tip, it's Boston. We've got a chance here to set the floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for this one. On the court right now for the Celtics. Smart and Bradley, the guards. Horford is out there with Amir Johnson. And it's Crowder in at the three. Irving with the ball. The screen from Thompson. Off the screen. Irving can't get it to go. And surprisingly, couldn't connect. That's a high percentage a look as he's going to get. Bradley kicks to Smart. From 13, and a big bounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Horford's got the first points up on the board here for the Celtics. And here's Irving. It's a pick by Love. Irving passes to Smith. And a miss there on the triple. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. To the inside. Pass to Smart. Johnson kicks to Crowder. Johnson dishes to Smart. The Celtics working the ball around now. Four on the shot clock. Austin needs to get off a shot from deep three-point range. The rebound by Kevin Love. You don't want your best shooter leaving up that shot. No, not at all. Coach is not going to like that one. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Now here's Smart outside Bradley. Horford sets a screen for Bradley. Picked by Horford. Six on the shot clock. No one near him. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Only one of four to start looking to find that rhythm. I hope people don't forget about Kevin Love's elite numbers back in the days. Crazy numbers. One year he averaged 26 and 13 rebounds for the Timberwolves. And for Kevin Love, do you think Steve will see him get back to those crazy numbers he put up with Minnesota? You know, I don't think so. The reason why he's playing on this team where he has so many other guys that could do break. everything. Back in Minnesota, he had to do it all. I think for Kevin Love right now, it's about winning and winning and being productive. The first one falls. You know, he's strong. He's a gifted big man with a high basketball IQ. That's Kevin Love. Both free throws good from Love. You talk about off-season dedication. Kevin Love has been able to transform his body since he came into the NBA. Going from around 265 pounds at UCLA to where he is now. Picked by Horford. Bradley, that's for two. And the shot falls short this time. Yeah, suffering from a very cold start. They've already missed four out of five from the field. Here's Irving. The Cavaliers again can't hit. And Kevin Love always working over the summer, doing yoga and all, all kinds of training. Well, I think yoga is a little bit more safer. You remember we broke his hand lifting weights back in Minnesota, but give him a lot of credit. He does a lot of cross training and is showing up. He has transformed his body, and that'll give him some more longevity. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Now here's Smart. He's covered by Irving and stolen by Love. To the paint. He's looking for LeBron and finds it. And there's Thompson putting it right back in. The unbelievable effort. Thompson, a dedicated warrior on the offensive glass. Smart passes to Horford. Outside Brandon. 
No good, unable to end this run. The Cavaliers leading by five. LeBron with it. Now guarded by Crowder. LeBron kicks to Love. From 13, doesn't go for him. Now Boston takes it the other way. Outer dishes to Smart. The pass to Horford. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got three rebounds so far in the game. Irving kicks to Thompson. There's the dish to Love. No block shot, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing, and Boston called for the foul. The versatile skill set of Love. The defender has no idea which move he's going to. The Cavaliers have gone two for two in the game at the line. And as a group, they shot 75% from Gentlemen, the line last two season. Two shots. Two shots. He's off on the first. Well, the Cuban Cavaliers definitely played at a slow pace. They've sped up the pace. They love the three-point shots. LeBron attacks so much in the inside, he creates a lot of open looks for the Cavs shooters to knock down threes. Good on the second free throw. And the Cavs no different. They're following the league trend of shooting more threes, but not the trend towards playing up tempo. No, not at all. They still can play half-court basketball and also still knock down threes. Reason why they have a lot of guys that can stretch her out, and they have that guy, LeBron James, that can break down the defense. Don't underestimate him. He can knock that down. Here's Irving. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Love the pass to LeBron, and he comes up with the deuce. Obviously, this is where James is so difficult to defend. Can beat you with a variety of moves inside, just like that one. Smart dishes to Horford. And he elevates the slam. Thompson did not like that. And guys, you don't think this fella can do some major damage if he gets an opening to the rim. GA, they just learned that lesson the hard way. They better <laughs> put a little bit more effort into their D the next time. <laughs> the defense has to feel real embarrassed right now. They totally got school on that highlight reel play. That was a nice replay brought to you by Kia. And the Celtics making a change here. Olenek's checked in. Here's Irving. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Absolutely fearless. Kyrie, you have to do more than just get a hand in his face. Now here's Smart. He's covered by Irving. Good. Smart's got five points so far. When you have a reliable floater like that, it can be absolutely lethal. Love with the screen for Irving. The feet now to Love. LeBron against Crowder. The drive by James and stolen by Horford. Bradley, no one around him. Rebound Love. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going to the left. the long-range jumper. And this is where JR can put it on you. Excellent in the catch and shoot. Hard kicks to Olenek. Olenek, a screen on James. Now here's Smart. Tight defense on him. Tried to bank it in, but he missed it. The Cavaliers leading by six. To the inside, Thompson. And it's Thompson with the jam. He's not the biggest guy, but he makes up for it and then some with this insane vertical leap. And now the first time out called here for Boston. J.R. Smith, an all-out gunner. Never saw a shot he didn't like, but you know what? It works for him. Terry Rozier's checked in for Boston. Passes it to Olenek. The Celtics working the ball around now. 
Bradley kicks to Olenek, launches it. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And they can't allow him too many open looks like that. that that's just inviting trouble. LeBron's shot is good. Catching the defense off balance. LeBron pulls up for the easy one. Celtics trail by seven. Rozier kicks to Horford. Outside Bradley. There's the three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Love's got four rebounds now tonight. It has not been an easy quarter for him offensively, but I like that he's staying aggressive. Irving passes to Love. Smith outside. Love outside. Just five to shoot. Irving for three. Rebound by Olenek. Irving's gone one of four so far. Thompson against Horford. Here's Rozier looking for his first basket still in this one. Olenek has the open look. It's rebounded by Cleveland. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Smith kicks to James. It's a pick by Love. 13 feet away. A shot. No good. And the Celtics going the other way now. And the wide-open shot from Crowder. Off target from three-point range. The Cavaliers leading by seven. James dishes to Irving. James sets the screen for Irving. James in the post. And James throws it down. A competitor in everything he does. LeBron with the strong finish. Rozier, the pass to Olenek. There's the pick. He dishes it to Bradley. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. You know, that job of getting through screen is not pretty, but somebody has to do it. Irving kicks to James. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Uh-oh, starting out in rhythm. That's four out of five he's hit, and we're only in quarter number one. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Channing Fries checked in for Tristan Thompson. Shumper comes in for Kevin Love. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for J.R. Smith. And Darren Williams is subbed in for Kyrie Irving. And then for Boston, Jurebko comes in for Al Horford. And it's Brown in for Jay Crowder. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Well, so many great defenders in the NBA right now, Steve. And if you were in the league today, who would you least want to see as the player assigned to defend you? Uh, a lot of these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard would be I think, a Green. nightmare. Yeah. I, I think Tony Allen would be one of those guys. That I just said, well, please stop. He's everything. He's tough. He's defensive minded. Yes. He can score when he needs to. You know, he's a guy that will pick up some stuff here yeah. and there. Boy, his calling card is defense and toughness. It is. It is. He would be tough, wouldn't he? It would. He'd make you better if he was in practice against you every day, wouldn't he? Huh? Uh, you like those type of guys yeah. if, you're yeah. your, if they're on your team. Yes. <laughs> Drills it from outside. Williams has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And they are shooting the lights out from distance here early. Rogier the pass to Yuretko. Screen by a winner. Pass to Bradley. This one for three. It's hauled in by Fry. He just looks uncomfortable offensively, really over the course of the whole game, and is killing his team. Here's Rozier. He's guarded by Williams. Brandley kicks to Rozier. And here's Olenek from the arc. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. No defensive pressure. That's a three-point attempt. He loved to have that. Here's Fry. And that one goes long. Celtics trail by 11. Bradley passes to Rozier. On the wing, Brown. He 
takes it off the glass. And, and you got to respect how accomplished Brown is down low, destroying whoever is in his way. There's 57 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Williams dishes to LeBron. And another miss by Cleveland. Here's Rozier. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Screen by Olenek. To the middle. An easy layup after coming off the pit. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Outside, Williams. 19 seconds left to play in the first quarter. 20 feet out. Another miss by James. And with the defense disrespecting him there, that's a shot he needs to make. Now Bradley. Here's Rozier. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And that concludes the first quarter of play. And a chance to hear from LeBron James. For me, at a younger age, I was never. Again, just another part of the maturation process for LeBron. He's become such the consummate pro. He is absolutely as solid and steady as a rock at this point in his career. Nothing rattles him. Nothing throws him off his head. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, what's your take? I just don't know that you're going to see a better quarter defensively than what we saw in the first. Yeah, they were in total lockdown mode there. Can they keep it up for their entire game? It remains to be seen. On the court for the Celtics, Smart and Brown outside on the wings. Yurebko at the four, Olenek at the five. And it's Rozier in at the point guard position. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Kyrie Irving is an elite offensive player at his position, but he's trying to improve his focus at the defensive end. He said, I was always that guy getting called out on film. You get tired of it after a while. It's all about effort. You want to be a guy that your teammates trust. Kevin, we know that point guard is one of the most stocked positions in the league. They need Irving to stay locked in. Definitely a lot of responsibility at that point guard position. They don't get many nights off. Absolutely not. Thanks, D.A. Round kick still in it and stolen by Law. It's Jefferson high post. Poked away and stolen by Horford. Smart passes to Brown. Smart kicks to Horford. 14 feet away, and he nails the jumper. Horford's got six points. When Teron Lou took over, the Cavs made sure that he was not an interim coach. They took that tag off, and Teron Lou has been a coach in waiting. He's done a nice job getting these guys to move the basketball and play unselfish. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That's his first foul for the Cavaliers. Thompson, he's checked in for Fry. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Darren Williams. And a change for the Celtics. Crowder's checked in. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. And taken away by Brown. At the top of the key, Horford. Here's Crowder. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. And the Cavs front office made clear from the start that they had the utmost confidence in coach Teron Liu and his ability to lead the team. What I love is they revamped his contract, showed the commitment. I think when you see the buy-in he's gotten from the players and the way he's motivated them, it was a no-brainer. Good on the second free throw. 
And Smitty, when you were a young player in the league and taking on the great legends of the 90s, were there any games where you were just in awe of who you were on the court facing? A lot, Kevin, but some names that come to mind was first Michael Jordan, going up against the great Michael Jordan. A lot of people say they played against Michael, but he played the two-guard position. Right at and you, And I huh? had to guard oh him, my gosh. and he was guarding me. And then growing up in Detroit, got a chance to work out with Isaiah Thomas, Joe Dumars, and then compete against these guys. Those are the three names that come to mind. I think those are the three that really had an influence on my game. And the, mo the single most difficult guy for you to cover? By I far. I could cover him. That was Michael Jordan. And who, who was a guy that was the best defensive player on you, guarding you? And he was a teammate of mine, so a lot in practice, but then when he was, we got traded and separated, Stacy Altman, the plastic no man, yeah. was a guy I had problems with. J.R. Smith checked in for Iman Shumpert. Picked by Horford. Takes a three. Good, and Smart gets the assist. And it's nine points for Al Horford. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. It's a pick by Love. Dishes it to Jefferson. Feeds it to Love. Irving drives in. And Kyrie Irving, one of the most talented scorers, certainly, Smitty, in the NBA, but he feels the pressure, I think, to try to tighten the screws in his game defensively. You don't get many nights off defensively at the point guard position in today's NBA. That position is very deep. No excuses, though. To be great, you've got to get it done at both ends. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. Kyrie Irving, former number one overall draft pick, rookie of the year, multiple all-star games, gold medalist. He has his own signature shoe, and yet I think he still has room to even get better. No good on the second free throw. You know, Kyrie is a star in this league, but he has a chance to be a superstar. And it's Brown missing. And Kyrie Irving says he'd like to take on more of a leadership role that can be tricky sometimes when you're a you know, guy playing with a superstar like LeBron James. Yes, because he's obviously one of those leaders that he's been in place as a leader, one of the best players. But I think Kyrie Irving is trying to learn from LeBron and take more of a leadership role. You can do that. You can have two leaders on the team. Kicks it to Horford. He feeds it to Smart. Nice ball movement by Boston. Over in the corner, Brown. Clock at four. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Brown's got four points this quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. A screen from Thompson. Shoots from the line. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Celtics trail by six. Brown kicks to Crowder. Here's Rozier. Pass to Horford. Shot from 16. Cavaliers with the rebound. Love's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Stolen. And a fast break now for the Celtics. And the basket by Rozier. Rozier's got his second basket of the game. Cleveland leading by four. Irving with the ball. He kicks to Jefferson. Let's it go from deep. Irving can't hit. For Boston, they've gone six of eight from the field in the second quarter. Here's Horford, and finished off by Horford. And guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, G.A., you're right. Almost a free run for him there. The defense looks done right now. No hustle or real desire to get stops. In the corner, Smith with it. Fades away. Bounces high off the rim and drops. That's 12 points for Kevin Love. Really good shooting night for him, doing everything he can to help his team stretch this lead. The pass to Brown. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Eight points for Jalen Brown. 
incredible. He was shooting the ball with good rhythm in the first quarter. Now he's just unconscious. It's a pick by Love. Elbow shot is on the way. And he gets the kind bounce as that one drops in for him. Irving's got five points so far. The mid-range game, Kyrie can score on every level. There's a screen. Here's Horford. And there are the Celtics with another basket. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. You know, that job of getting through screen is not pretty, but somebody has to do it. The screen from Thompson. Here's Irving. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Brown. That is his first foul of the game. Slithering off the pick and roll, Kyrie makes the right decision to keep it himself. And one of the most resilient players around, Tristan Thompson, hasn't missed a game with injuries since 2012. And for a big man who plays the way he does, battling in the paint, the going after every rebound, and Good also shot. being the muscle for his team, it's impressive he's played this many games. Thompson no good on the free throw. And they've had their difficulties from the line here in the second. Could extend their lead if they just make some more free throws. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. Steve, you were such a terrific three-point shooter in your day back in that 2001-2002 season. You led the league, in fact, in three-point percentage. You and I were having a conversation about great three-point shooters a little while ago. Did you ever think that shot would make the, the mark in the league that it has now made with the, the Currys and, and the Clay Thompsons and the way they're firing from distance? You know what? Kevin, I shot it well that year. Tim Duncan gave him a lot of credit and David Robinson. They drew a lot of double teams. But they're, they're not shooting a three ball right now. I shot right around that line. These guys are shooting so far out, still with a high percentage and with a lot of volume. It's unbelievable what these guys are doing now with the three ball. Would you play differently now with the league the way it is now than you did when you played the game? Yeah. I'd be, a, I'd be a stretch four. Yeah, I mean, you start right, to look right. at it. Probably wouldn't be playing a point guard position. Probably be a stretch four. Outside Irving. From 13 feet, it goes down. Irving's got nine points. You can't anticipate anything with him because his playmaking is so unpredictable. And the basket by Johnson. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Irving kicks to Love. Corver up top. The screen from Thompson. Kyle Corver, and that's good. And the Cavaliers lead by two. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Corver the pass to Rogier. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Inside, here's Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. The vision of love, the willingness to make the extra pass, just more reasons why he's so dangerous in this offense. It's stolen by Corver. And here's the fast break. Love leading the way. Fires the three. Another three for Cleveland. A great job from beyond the arc this quarter. They are now shooting the three at almost 60% for the game. Smart. He's got eight. Johnson with a screen on Corver. Smart dishes to Horford. Just five to shoot. That one's off. Still out of sync. How anyone could give him that much room from his spot is crazy. But the defender got away with it. Irving from long range. Buries it from three-point range. 12 points for him. Wow, the shot mechanics of Kyrie. Extremely consistent from range. Johnson the screen. Smart kicks to Horford. For the three. And Crowder gets it to go. On the assist by Horford. Six points for Jay Crowder. It's amazing. He is on fire here in the second period after going scoreless in the first. And the Cavaliers will go with a different look here. Channing Fries checked in for Tristan Thompson. James comes in for Kevin Love. 
Mon Shepard's checked in for J.R. Smith. And it's Williams in for Irving. And then for Boston. Olenek, he's checked in for Horford. Yurebko comes in for Crowder. And it's Avery Bradley in for Terry Rozier. Celtics trail by seven. Olenek, a screen on Shepard. Baseline J on the way. Smart misses. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. LeBron passes to Corp. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That one on Olenek. Yeah, the defender all over him. And Kyle Korver, 2015, winning the Sportsmanship Award. And more important, his first All-Star appearance at the age of 33. Yeah, pretty rare to see that. But, but credit his dedication. He continues to work on his game, work on his body, and he gets better and better. Not content to be a shooting specialist. He wants to have a complete game. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. To the middle. That is good. The Cavaliers lead cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Bradley. Yeah, they've gotten into a nice flow this quarter. Outside Williams. LeBron outside. To the middle. Here's Fry. And Fry slams it in. The vision of LeBron always finding open teammates. Here's Smart. Eight points for him. Now the dish to Johnson. Six on the shot clock. Celtics passing it around. In the corner, Bradley with it. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Cleveland with the ball. They're on a 17-7 run. Williams dishes to James. And Fry kicks to Corbin. The feed to LeBron. 14 feet away. And the shot no good. A bit short. 55 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Smart. He doesn't hit that one. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Passes to Shumpert. And then Shumpert slams it in. The big-time vertical Shumpert. This is him just having fun. It's stolen by Corver. Now Cleveland moving it up. Corver with the ball. Fires it up. Another miss by James. If his shots were just a little more on point tonight, they'd be holding a much bigger lead right now. Johnson, and then Johnson with the jam. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered, huh? Some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Not only does that dunk help in cutting into this lead, but it gives this team a real confidence boost, too. LeBron passes to Williams. Puts up a three. Got it off in time, but it's no good. And so we wrap up. And now. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, folks. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson here with what a performance so far tonight by Kevin Love. He ended up with 15 points, 7 rebounds, and 3 assists. What do you think, Shaq, about Cleveland? The speed they're playing with has been fantastic. They're pushing up. That concludes our halftime. the second half beginning in just a moment Kevin Love really has his fingerprints all over this one he had created a lot of quality shots for himself in that first half and he knew when to pass it up when the double team came just awesome on-court awareness knowing when to take it to the hole as well as dish it out 
That's why he is such a crucial member to this team. LeBron and Love, the two superstar forwards. Sharpshooters Irving and J.R. Smith are the backcourt duo. And it's Thompson in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Liu. Smart dishes to Horford. Back to Smart. Pass to Horford. Feeds to Smart. Kicks it to Crowd. Now Johnson. Just four to shoot. Horford the pass to Smart. Here's Crowder. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Crowder's got the first basket of the second half. That one for Boston. Now here is Irving. He dishes it to LeBron. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's going to be on either Bradley. Bradley. LeBron James. Two. He's the elder statesman on this team right now. He's done a nice job of taking some of the younger guys and showing them the way. That free throw, no good. And Steve LeBron at times last season hinting that he may be missing some of his more experienced teammates, whether in Miami or with the U.S. national team, guys who are more his peers. I think for him is he sets high standards. And at the end of the day, he walks the walk on the court. One of the greatest players ever. If you're his teammate, you've got to fall in line. And the second free throw, good. You know he's a perennial all-NBA first-teamer. Well, LeBron is also one of the league's top spokesmen. Picked by Horford. Outside Crowder. Fires for three. Thompson with the rebound. And battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. Right side Irving. Dishes to LeBron. Nice shot from the wing. James has got 12. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. Now Smart. He's got eight. Picked by Horford. And here's Bradley from three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. He's got nine. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Here's Irving. And Boston with the rebound. Horford's got rebound number seven for him tonight. A three from Bradley. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's LeBron. 12 points for him. And the Celtics a stifling defensive ball club under head coach Brad Stevens. I mean, tremendous perimeter defenders. One of the top rated teams in the league in terms of steals. And even without being a dominant defensive rebounding and shot blocking team, they were so good on the wings that it didn't matter. For Cleveland, they have had 12 attempts at the line, making eight so far. First one falls for him. One thing about Thompson, he's made improvements to his body and his game each and every year. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Now you look at the star trio of LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love. Smitty, how do you think the Cavs have done as far as integrating the talents of those three? It's been a big challenge. Reason why. Ooh. Ooh. And that's the classic one-two punch right there. I mean, nice steal. And then how about the elevation, Kevin, on the finish? And Greg, nothing spurs some quick offense like a great play defensively. When your defense translates into offense, it's a beautiful thing. And the replay, of course, presented by Kia. What a play. Here's Bradley from three. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. And that's 12 points for Avery Bradley. You know, maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. It's a pick by Love. Smith left side. From downtown, trains the three-pointer. Smith's got nine. And 
credit Kyrie. Tremendous vision. Finds the open man. Inside. And a dunk by Horford. He's kept them hanging around in this one thanks to his play. He needs his teammates to step up, though. The Cavaliers leading by eight. Irving kicks to Love. Launches a three. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Love. And that's 15 points for Kyrie Irving. A lot of space right there to get that shot off. On a defensive end, you have to fight through screen. That is a commitment. There's the pick. Johnson dishes to Smart. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Ten points for him. And really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. Irving with it. He's got 15. He feeds it to Love. Thompson passes to James. Five on the clock. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Wiley becoming more dangerous on the offensive end. Thompson draws contact. He's got free throw attempts number four and five here. The first free throw is good. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. Richard Jefferson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Brown, he's checked in for Boston. Rogier comes in for Marcus Smart. And he makes both free throws. And right now, at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. Here's Rozier, outside Brantley, picked by Horford. Left side, Bradley, banked in off the glass. Bradley's got 14 points. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Screen by Jefferson. Irving kicks to James. Jefferson, a screen on Crowder. Outside Jefferson. It's up a three. And Boston with the rebound. And here's Crowder. He's got nine. Rozier, the pass to Horford. Brown outside. They set the screen. Bradley dishes to Horford. Let's it go from 11. That shot, no good. Good D by Johnson. And Jefferson wide open. He shoots. Jefferson can't get that one to fall. Celtics trail by nine. Crowder kicks to Rozier. Pass to Horford. Inside. Here's Bradley. It's his first trip to the line. Had a success rate from the line last year of about 78%. And he can't get the first one. on the second free throw so he goes 0 for 2 there and LeBron James almost unquestionably the greatest player in the league over the last decade a bright spotlight but you know Steve he's never shied away from that no he hasn't I mean he's been in the center of attention for a long time I think we saw some of that last season as Steph Curry and the Warriors were the focus of so much attention but LeBron both on and off the court making sure that he didn't get swept aside now a timeout, timeout called timeout. by Boston Olenek, he's checked in for Crowder. Pick 
by Horford. Bradley kicks to Rozier. Down low. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. Austin shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And the first one drops. Come on, Shepard's checked in for J.R. Smith. Horford gets two. His soft touch from the line is rare for a big man. Outside Irving. From outside the arc. That one misses. Now the Celtics take it the other way. The pass to Bryant. He kicks it to Olenek. Pass to Rogier. Tries it from the top of the key. No good off the front eye. See, that's a good look from within his range. You know he's kicking himself for missing it. On the wing, Irving. 15 points in the game. That's good. It's his seventh May basket in 14 tries. One of the best small men in the league at attacking inside. Kyrie Irving. Here's Rogier. On the wing, Brown. Off the pick. And he hits the jump shot. Brown's got 10 points. Not the best possession, but somehow they got the shot to fall. The screen from Thompson. Here's Irving. And Thompson gets it to go in on the assist by Irving. Irving's got his fifth assist in this one. Horford with the screen on Thompson. Ogier the pass to Horford. And Thompson sends it back. Great timing by Tristan Thompson on that block. That's his forte. And a wide open look for Irving. Drills the three-pointer. Irving's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Cavs. Celtics trail by 14. Rogier kicks to Olenek. Picked by Horford. Outside Bradley. Off target from outside. Cavaliers have gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Jefferson dishes to Thompson. On the wing, James. Olinick is covering. On the wing, Irving. Down to five on the shot clock. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got four assists in the game. Filling it up at will. Kyrie's arsenal on full display. Round with it. Picked up by Thompson. And they get it. And it's Brown missing. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Irving passes to Shumper. Back to Irving. Outside Jefferson. And it's off from three-point range. Celtics trail by 17. Here's Rozier. And too long on the shot. Cleveland's got more than a 50% success rate on their three-pointer since halftime. They're four of seven. Irving kicks to LeBron. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Bradley with some nice D. 
Pass to Rogier. Screen by Olenek. Bradley, that's for two. Boston, no good that time either. He's using money for mid-range, but the defender got up in his shirt, took him out of rhythm. Here's LeBron, and count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. He's been very decisive, very accurate shooting the basketball. Extremely productive quarter so far. A different look now for Cleveland. Channing Fries checked in for Tristan Thompson. Corver comes in for Jefferson. And Darren Williams is subbed in for Irving. Yurebko's checked in for the Celtics. And one difference this have is that when they get to the line, they're converting. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Brown against Shumpert. Shot to stop the drought. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And when you talk about a player having an NBA-ready body, you want them to have the strength to compete with bets right off the bat. And make no mistake about it, Jalen Brown has an NBA-ready body. Uh, I'm just not sure the NBA is ready for him. Shoot I mean, two. he is a physical monster. Takes contact like defenders are, are insects and, and can still finish strong through the foul. Uh, has a combo of speed, strength, lift, and endurance that you rarely see from a player his age. And the vertical that Brown has is pretty impressive. As relentless a finisher as you'll find in our league. He hits both from the strike. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Outside, Williams. James outside. Shoots it. Some sour defense from Brown. He had all the room he needed to get the shot off. Just couldn't find the bottom of the net. Screen by Olenek. Brandley kicks to Rozier. There's the dish to Olenek. Takes the 13-footer. Connects. The jumper drops. Olenek's got seven points. He has definitely found his rhythm knocking down the mid-range shots the D has given him. Now here's Williams on the wing shepherd. Offensive rebound. 107 left to play in the third. Offensive rebound. The kick out to Brown. They set the screen. The feet to Yurebko. Brown outside. Kicks it to Yurebko. From deep three-point range. And Kelly Olenek is going to pick up the foul. That's foul number two for him. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Love's checked in. And then for Boston. Johnson comes in for Avery Bradley. And Smart subbed in for Terry Rozier. The Cavaliers leading by 16. We've got 33 seconds left in the third. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And that one falls for Williams. And as a team, they're hovering around the high 80s from the free throw line. They've gotten better as the game has gone along, which is exactly what you want to see. And so he hits both. Here's Smart. Ten points for him. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. It's Olenek atop the key. Johnson the screen. Here's Yurebko. 
connects from three-point range. Yurebko's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. Now Williams, he has five. Feeds it to Love. No good on the buzzer beater. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. And meanwhile, Coach Brad Stevens talking to his team. Piece by piece, chip away. See if you can. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. On the court right now for the Celtics. Crowder and Yurebko are the small and power forwards. Smart is out there with Brown, and it's Olenek in at the center, filling out the middle. The baseline, J. Rebound, Love. Love's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Smart dishes to Yurebko. They set the screen. Now here's Smart. He's guarded by Williams. Nice shot by Smart. You've got to give a ton of credit to the screener. That play easily opened up the easy layup for his teammate. Here's Williams. And he makes that one. And the Cavaliers lead by 15. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Now here's Smart. He's tightly guarded. Now you're red. And Olenek kicks to Brown. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. Well, they're still behind in this game, but not because of his shooting. He's been lights out. Cleveland leading by 13. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Cleveland moving the ball around. Back to Corver. Just five on the clock. Smith kicks to Love. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. And that's 17 points for Love. Feathery touch in the painted area. Serves Love very well. Smart passes to Olenek. Smart with the ball. Crowder sets his screen for Smart. Joe Winnick on the arc. And the Celtics hit again from deep. His skill set really spaces out the floor, given how lights out he is from outside. Cavaliers have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Williams kicks to Love. To the inside. Front. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. James checked in for Cleveland. Then for the Celtics, Al Horford has checked in for Yurebko. And it's Avery Bradley in for Brown. The Cavaliers really wanted Channing Frye. Made the deal at the trade deadline. They took a huge luxury tax hit to add him to the team. A floater. Darren Williams grabs the miss. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Baseline try. And it's Smith missing. And Fry at 6'11", an excellent three-point shooter. He gives the Cavaliers, Steve, a, a different look in the front court. In the playoffs, it's all about matchups. He has some big games helping them sweep the Atlanta Hawks in the semis. When you have shooters at every position, it's tremendously difficult to defend. Orford high post. Releases. And again, it's Boston converting. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. They led the game at one point by 20. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. They set the pick. Smith wide open. He fired. Smith missing again. Really bad mental lapse by the defense. Yet he did not make them pay, surprisingly. Screen by Olenek. Outside Crowder. He dishes it to Bradley. 
and he feeds it to Horford. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. And a wide open look for James. No good on the triple. Celtics trail by 13. And here's Smart. Dishes to Horford. That one goes. Count it. Horford's got four points this quarter. That's exactly where they want the ball to go. He did a great job getting the ball into that position. Outside Williams. Love outside. Back to Williams. Stolen by Smart. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Rebound by Olenek. For Boston, they've gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Smart dishes to Horford. Count it. Horford's got 23 points. Here's James. They set the pick. It's a pick by Love. Smith on the wing. To stop the drought. That misses off the backboard. Celtics trail by nine. Bradley passes to Smart. Pass to Horford. Hit by Horford. Just five on the clock. Off the screen. And another basket for Boston. It's as if the defenses have just given up. I don't think the defense have given up. I just think it's too much offensive firepower to hold in check. It's a pick by Love. Williams kicks to James. In the corner, Smith with it. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got his fifth assist in this one. The Celtics have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. And some solid looks for them. They set the pick. Olenek dishes to Bradley. And again, Boston with the triple. Now this, this is more like a nine points for him from three-point range this half. That's nine more than he had in the first. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Cleveland. Irving comes in for Jaron Williams. Johnson, he's checked in for Boston. Terry Rozier comes in for Marcus Smart. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldrin. Kevin, during the last break, I heard Tyrone Lou talking with his team. He told them, put your foot on their neck. Take it to them. I want to see you guys slow it down out there. Use the clock and stay away from silly fouls. Let's see if they can execute the play, guys. All right, thank you, David. A three from Brantley. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And he's caught fire from long range here in the second half. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Here's James of right side. Again, love missing. Outside Brantley. The pass to Rogier, and it's Kevin Love with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Boston has possession. They trail by seven. Tristan Thompson, his wingspan bothering that shot. Love kicks to Irving. Passes it to Smith. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. one falls for you know how accurate jr is from three that's how relatively inaccurate he can be from the line sometimes <laughs> 
Smith hits them both. And, and you really have to like what they're doing at the line in this half. Free throw percentage now up around 92%. Rozier kicks to Johnson. Outside Brantley. Johnson sets the screen for Brantley. Can't hit that one. Good D by Thompson. The Cavaliers leading by nine. Left side, Love. And it's off from three-point range. Boston's gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter. They're a perfect three of three. Ogier the pass to Johnson. Johnson the screen. Outside, Brent. And it's Kevin Love with the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. Here's Rozier. Shoots from the elbow. Making a great play to challenge the shot. LeBron's D can shut you down. Outside Irving. That's the three fly. Traps in the train. Irving's got 14 points here in the second half. And when he gets it going, this is what can happen. They need to think about the double team now. Here's Rozier. Picked by Horford. Here's Crowder. Boston. No good that time either. Smith with it. Now guarded by Brad. And James throws it down. And making it look completely effortless. LeBron using his immense talent to score at will. Rozier kicks to Horford. Will it go? Makes a big height bounce and goes in. Horford's got 25 points in the game. The Cavaliers leading by 12. Intercepted. One on one here. A good look from Bradley. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot. Now, here is Irving. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. That one on Horford. The shiftiness of Kyrie earns him a trip to the strike. down the first one. All three throws good for Irving. Celtics trail by 12. Time call timeout, here. Timeout. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Start it. Now Bradley. In the corner, Crowder with it. with the ball. Horford up top. Just four to shoot. Back to Bradley. On deep. Good D by Love. Aggressive closeout on a great jump shooter. That's how you defend against the three. Irving attacking. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Irving's got seven now in this quarter. And that's vintage Kyrie. He has the blow by speed to get past defenders off the dribble. Outside Brent. Pass to Rogier. Beyond the arc. Buries the long range jumper. Not the best pick I've ever seen, but it was just enough to get the job done. The Cavaliers leading by 11. Smith in the posts. Guarded by Brent. And there's J.R. Smith on the assist by Irving. J.R. Smith is strong and athletic enough to do damage inside. Johnson with a screen on Smith. And here's Bradley from three. Nice hit again. 
And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to go on Tristan Thompson. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. And that one falls for Johnson. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Yeah, he cuts the deficit a little bit, but not as much as he could have. One miss can make a big difference. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the Cavaliers. Looking at both these teams, they're great rebounders. And on any given night, you might not know who would have the advantage on the board. They, they made the most of those extra rebounds as well, Kevin. No surprise here. Just a big-time performance for Kevin Love. He took up a lot of space under the boards tonight, guys. He had it in his mind that every missed shot was going to be his. And he went out there and got those rebounds. A strong effort on the glass. Olenek, he's checked in for Boston. Free throw good from Kyrie Irving. 54 seconds left in the game. Smith against Brandon. He kicks to a limit. Johnson dishes to Brandon. Good on the first, and that brings them to within 10. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Channing Fries checked in for Love. Shumper comes in for LeBron. Kyle Korver, he's checked in for Smith. And it's Williams in for Kyrie Irving. The Celtics also changing it up. Yurebko's checked in for Kelly Olynyk, And it's Brown in for Jay Crowder. And so Bradley nails both of them. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The screen from Thompson. Outside jumper. And here's Fry for three. Good on the triple. That one will seal the deal there. They've exploded here at the end. The right time to start playing the best basketball that you can play. They are making everything right now. Here's Rozier over in the corner. Brown gets it to go from beyond the arc. And that's just tremendous confidence from Brown. Going up with the shot right away and giving the D no time to react. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. So the first one drops, and that will push the lead to double digits. Both good from the line that time. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool at the line and finish it off. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by 11. 11 seconds left in the fourth. What's your take, guys? You, you know what? You can talk all you want, but I just don't see a scenario that's going to get them back in it. It's a stretch for sure to say they can come back, but it all starts with executing out of the timeout. Let's see what he draws up here. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and... 
the 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. Now it's time to present our Jordan Player of the Game, Kevin Love. On a night like this, you just have to marvel at the things that Kevin Love can do. Inside, outside, he was everywhere, and there was nothing they could do to stop him. You got to love the huge contribution he gave them tonight. <laughs> oh, boy, he has the arena rocking the night with the show he put on. That's one of the best performers I've seen from him. Something just clicked. I don't know what it was. It just all came together. And that's it for...